So I wanted to do a quick intro to this video. As you can see back there, if you can see back there, the seat belts are already installed. Um, basically, I ordered the front belts only when I was testing out Seatbelt Planet to see, you know, what kind of quality we're getting here and you know how they are to work with. I absolutely love those guys. They are workplay drive approved, so you can feel confident that when you purchase them, that these guys will take good care of you. Um, so this video today is gonna be, it's a long one. It's about 40 minutes long. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go through disassembling the entire back of the car. So we're taking the seats out, the lower seat, the upper seat. We're taking the armrest panels out completely. We're, we're gonna take out the seat pillar panels all the way to the back window. Um, and we're gonna take out the rear deck and basically strip the whole back of the car down to nothing. So if you need to access any of those areas, this is going to be a very clear and very, I guess, brief and to the point how-to video on how to get down to these parts and then put them all back together again. And in the middle of the video, I'll be installing the Seatbelt Planet seatbelts. This video is long, but what I wound up doing was you're not gonna watch me spin a ratchet for five minutes. You're gonna see me start the ratchet so you know what screw or what bolt I'm working on, and then I'm just gonna quick cut to the part where I just pull the bolt out. So I'm basically cutting out as much as I can, unless I'm actually talking and explaining something. You're not gonna see me, you know, 45 minutes of me muscling out screws. Um, the other thing too is uh, what I highly recommend you do is if in the Challenger especially, if you are purchasing belts from Seatbelt Planet, buy all five at once. The panels that you have to remove to access the front seatbelt is the same panel you have to remove to access the rear seatbelt. So why take it out twice? Get all five belts done at once. So with this video, um, you know, because it's a full disassembly video, you can use this for multiple purposes. You know, I'm using it to show you guys how to install seatbelts from Seatbelt Planet, but if you need to get in any of the components like the speakers or the speakers in the back deck or your back deck rattles like mine does, this will show you how to completely get down to those components and then put it all back together without screwing anything up. So um, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn and enjoy. If you guys are watching while you're doing the install, I made sure there's no advertisements over the install and I made sure there's no advertisements in the middle of the install so you guys don't get interrupted. And also, um, I separated it into sections and I'm gonna put a table of contents in the uh, description below. So if you wanna go direct to any part, uh, I'll put the time that that part starts, like you know, disassembly of the rear deck or removal of the seat belts. You'll see that down in the description below. And as always, with all my videos, all the tools I use will be in the description below. So uh, here we go. Full disassembly of the rear seat area of the Challenger and installation of seatbeltplanet.com seatbelts in three, two, one, go. All right, so what you need for this install is a long 18 millimeter socket for that rear center seat belt, a short 18 millimeter socket for all the other bolts, You've got a T50 for all the other belts. This is, I'll put a link to that in the description. And you have a Phillips head screwdriver, a uh, trim removal tool, a soft trim removal tool. Ah, man, I can't remember the name of this tool is, but that'll be in the description below. And a uh, seven millimeter socket. And that's pretty much all you need for this install. What we're going to wind up doing is we're going to pull out this lower seat and the technique is pretty simple and it requires quite a bit of force. What you're going to do is you're going to grab under this area right here, you're going to put your fingers underneath it and you're going to give it a good hard pull straight up. Same thing on the other side. There we go. What you have is a rubber area down here and this piece goes right into it and it just comes right out. There's a total of two bolts here. These are 18 millimeters, one bolt here, and two over there. And we're gonna take all those bolts out and see if this seat pops out.
Now these bolts, once you break them free, they're super easy to get out. And of course this one makes a liar out of me, right? It's probably because I'm leaning on it. But uh, I don't think there's anything else holding the seat in, so I guess we're gonna find out in one second. Probably should unbolt this lower seat belt right here. Now we're gonna take uh, the shaky cam for a sec and take note of the belt placement. So what we have is we have the seat belt itself facing forward like this, going up into the feet up there, and that belt is on top. We have this little lower belt here underneath the seat belt here, and if we pull it straight, we show that the red is sitting on top and the buckle slot is on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh, look at all that dirt down there. We're gonna go ahead and pop this off. Let's see, is this an 18 mil? Yes. Very easy to pop. Does it come off in one or two pieces? This is one piece, riveted together. So, all right, bring this up to the top. And let's fold this up so you can fold these back. All right, so they separate. All right, just to show you what's going on here, um, there is a smooth pin inside the double seat or inside that center bracket that slides into this nice little hole right here. So uh, the install took a little turn for the worse. It started pouring out, so I could have to close all the doors. It's about 90 degrees in here. Um, yeah, I'm sweating all over the place. But we're gonna keep going. Just ignore the rain noise. It's the best I can do for this situation. So what we've done is we've done that side, and you know, getting through it was uh, challenging because I didn't know what I was taking apart. But I figured it all out. So we're gonna do this side uh, for the video, and. Uh, that's gonna be the cool part because I'll be able to show you smoothly what pieces need to come off. What you should do is commit to like the first hour and a half of just slowly taking apart your car, placing all your stuff in a safe location, um, and, and give yourself the room. And if you're shipping your seatbelts in just a lot for a couple days, now the rear seatbelts can be shipped overnight, and then you can arrange something with uh, Seatbelt Planet to uh, have them do them and get them back to you in a day usually. It depends on how busy they are. You just gotta call in advance and make some arrangements. Uh, but you're gonna, what I've been doing is as I take things apart, I put the screws and the bolts right back on or in their original location. I just give them a couple turns so I don't misplace them. Uh, so that's a good tip just because you may have a couple days between taking it apart and putting it back together. Uh, in my case, um, we're gonna be doing this all in one shot. So. Just keep that in mind, you know, put your screws and stuff just away in case, you know, you have a week or two weeks, say, you can't get back to it. You, you know where everything goes. Uh, otherwise, you got this video to uh, help you out. It is now raining inside my tent, which really sucks. Um, all right, so we're going to get to that side and the rear deck, because now that we can remove that side, we're going to get that all taken care of. Let's do it. All right, so the first step to taking this apart is removing this trim piece here. Remember, we did this in our first seatbelt install. We're gonna wanna remove the lower seatbelt buckle. We're gonna wanna remove this really quick, so we're gonna lift up the door trim, move it out of the way to expose the screw that's right here. We're gonna take out that Phillips head screw, and that releases this door trim. Okay, pull that out. And remove that seatbelt bolt. This is just gonna allow me to completely take out that this piece of trim here so I can work comfortably. The screws are silly, they're so long. All right, good. So we are here, we've got this loose. Let's bring the camera up a bit. All right, so here we are here. We're gonna remove this piece of trim here. Sorry about that. And now we've got the seatbelt completely loose. The other thing we gotta take out is the other lower seatbelt down here. Let's get that going. And again, as I pull each bolt out, I'm putting it right back where it came from, just so I know where it goes. It makes life a lot easier. All right, so the trim is all out of the way now. I'm gonna put the seatbelt buckle up here so 
we're good. Get to grab the trim here. And we're gonna separate it like we did in the last one. I'm gonna reach in here and just help it off. I'm gonna hop in the car, make things a little bit easier. Okay, so another important piece to remove is this Christmas tree clip. This is my dash cam wire, so I'm just gonna pop this underneath. I'm gonna go underneath that rear trim, just pop it out. Put the Christmas tree clip off to the side. Now at this point, everything here should just pop right off. And we're gonna separate right at this line. Let me see, can you see me? Yeah. So we're gonna separate right at this line here. Okay. Get your hands behind it and give it a nice tug. Just one clip right here. Yeah, there we go. There we go, all the clips are out. And this piece completely comes out of the car after you disconnect the speaker. So if you're sitting on this side, if you're sitting on this side, don't yank. There's a speaker connector on the back of this that you need to disconnect. So we're gonna go zoom in on that right now and disconnect it. The speaker connector just requires you to push in here and then you can pull it out. I'll try and do that without dropping the GoPro. So push in there and pull it straight out. Okay, so at this point we've pulled the seatbelt through the hole and we've released the seatbelt over there. We've disconnected this. We should be able to take this right out of the car. No problem. So up here we have this piece of uh, this little cap cover here. You're going to need a really sharp interior tool to do this. You want to get in there just pry it open and you have a seven millimeter bolt under there and if you come over here the back of the window right there you have another trim panel this one instead of using a trim tool to get at what I did was I pulled my fingers down behind here and I just pushed on the end cap to pop it out okay so you can push in from the back and push these pieces through and this way you don't have to try and figure out how to get a trim tool inside there okay so there's a couple things you need to know about removing this piece here okay so there is a Phillips head screw right here there's a seven millimeter bolt here and a seven millimeter bolt right there the rest are pop clips except for when you get to right here right here they have a, um, a safety here for the airbag so when this breaks free and the airbag shoots out there's little straps that hold this in place. Um, I'll try and give you a good example of that or get the camera in really close, but it's really hard to do considering they're right here. So we'll see what we can do. But again, so seven millimeter, seven millimeter Phillips. And right here we have a little uh, plug, which I showed in the last one. You have a purple thing right here that you just grab with your trim tool and you pop it out. Easier said than done, right? Oh. Grab with your fingers and pull it out and then has a nice easy pluck right off there we go so we have our two wires we have whatever this mechanism here is and then we have our speaker okay let's get that screw out the funny thing is if you watch my video on installing these you realize i was struggling with the area down below and taking the back seats out was the reason I was struggling. I didn't want to take the back seats out. Well, I find it quite comical that taking the back seats out only took, what is it, like two minutes, not even. Uh, in the lower back seats, all I needed to remove. Two minutes. Two minutes of time. And I wasted, I don't know, ten trying to get those silly bolts in place. So just keep that in mind on your next, uh, and hopefully you're watching this first. You can uh, kind of, I don't know. Consider taking the back seats out to make your life a whole lot easier. This is the reason why I'm fully disassembling this entire thing this time around because I just, I want to make it easy. I want you guys to see everything, see how to take all this stuff out because this is all important stuff. All right, so you see how easily this just comes right down. It's all clips from this point on. Just pull these clips out and then the part where it gets a little hairy, I'll show you in a second. We've got one more clip. 
right here. You see my fingers? Yeah, you can see my fingers. Good. Pull that last clip out. All right. And then these are clips, but they're clips with straps. So pop. And this one's hard. It's all the way down in the bottom corner. Let me get my finger down there. There we go. All right. Now we're at the point where we got the straps. I'm going to try and do a shaky cam with my phone and get you guys in there. All right, we're hitting the shaky cam now. We're going into the back to the C-pillar cover and we have these little straps here. What these straps are for is when the airbags blow out, this trim piece here breaks away and these straps hold that trim piece in place. Um, what you have right there is a clip that holds this trim piece and the strap together. See, all right, look at my finger all the way through the little area here. You see that little ledge right there? I'm gonna push down on that to release it. So you can see me putting pressure down there and pull, pushing forward. And it's really hard to do with one hand. But again, all the way in the back, you push down and then you pull this clip forward and it releases. See, it comes right off like that. I'm sorry about the angle, but it's really hard to work here. And, all right, so you see, here's the front of the clip. There's the back of the clip push my finger down on the back to release it and then pull it forward with all of my strength because this thing is in there all right so I guess I have to take the phone away but the basic gist is you're going to slide this whole this thing forward so there's a clip in the back which I've already pushed down and pushed out so now all I got to do is hook this and pull that out all right last piece of the puzzle is to gently push the seatbelt through and another piece out of the car. All right, so what I know is obviously these uh, two, there's none of them, these two need to come off. So let's get underneath these. I like to go under, under. They don't damage the clip itself. Oh, that just popped out real simple. Get underneath this one. That one popped off nice and simple. You've got to be kidding me. That's all there is to it. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so there's some wiring off in the corners. You just got to work your way around. So just make sure as you're pulling it out of the corners, you're careful. Okay, so we're gonna flip this over and let's see if bring this closer. Is the seatbelt trim? Just pop that through. Then you're gonna turn it sideways and pull it back through the center and pull the entire seatbelt assembly through it carefully. All right, nice and careful so you don't ruin the outside of the trim. Put the big buckles through first and get that whole thing out. All right, for this one here, you're gonna need a number 18, but you're gonna need a long socket. Let's go to shaky cam mode. Let me show you the bolt that's down there. So if you take a look straight down there, we have an 18 millimeter bolt, and that's all that's holding in that rear seat belt. So we'll put this on top. Shot. And that picks up straight, so there's a little little prick right there it sits down inside there pull that out and we're done do a quick clean up here get all that debris out of there because you know nobody will ever see this but i'll know it's dirty all righty again with the t50 bit now just remember this here, this is loose. It's gonna wiggle back and forth, forward and back. I'm guessing this is to give it some play while you're trying to adjust your seat belt. Um, there is, the threads do stop right in the middle. So this is by design, this is not a flaw or anything like that. This bolt is just set to move and allow you to adjust your seat belt freely. Uh, these are in place a lot tougher than you see me working with here because I broke them free off camera. I did only use this to break them free. However, uh, I just didn't want you to have to look at the ridiculous faces I was making while I was trying to do that. Now, 
Now there's a wiring harness in the way right here, which makes things not difficult, but it's just a little more annoying because you really can't get your fingers in there and loosen this bolt with your fingers or even tell when it's free. So, so there we go. And of course we dropped it. All right, so when you take this seatbelt out, you just lift it up and pull it out. And we're gonna put the bolt right back in place and give it a couple turns. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pack up the seatbelt for shipping to Seatbelt Planet. Um, you can leave the bolts on. They will return them with the bolts so you don't have to worry about trying to get that silly clamp off. It is an easy task to do if you wanna do it. Just make sure, and what I did was even using newspaper or uh, brown paper is you wrap each of these pieces, wrap this, wrap this, wrap this, and then you can roll them all up together and they won't scratch each other. And then of course wrap this really well as well. All right, we're at the part where we're going to uh, install the uh, seatbelt from Seatbelt Planet. They are packaged much better. I just unpacked them off camera. I'm gonna take my bolt that I put off to the side, put that in there, take that out. Now remember, if you're holding the seatbelt incorrectly, it, it won't work. You need to have the seatbelt in its operating position before it will work. So what I recommend, you wanna play with the seatbelt because right now it's not gonna you know, pull out. You uh, take this little hook right here and you put it in the slot right here and then you slide it down. All right, now that you have that back, you have that annoying wiring harness in the way over here. So we're going to put this on the tip, slide that in place and get that going. All right, and then like I said in the beginning of the video, you can send in your seatbelts with the bolts on them and seatbelt planets will send them back. I'm gonna bolt that up there. And remember this upper bolt here does not go in all the way. It stops because the threads stop. So you wanna do it, torque it down, but once it stops, it's going to have some play in this area up here. So just don't be concerned, it's just gonna happen. Okay. With the retractor, it doesn't work unless it's in its operating position. So now you can see the retractor is working just fine. All right. And if you pull it hard and fast, it locks up. So that's the intended operation. If you have this retractor tilted or turned or loose, as you saw earlier, where I just didn't bolt it in, it will lock up on you unexpectedly. So just don't freak out. The retractor has to be in its operating position for the seatbelt to move freely. Now, we're not attaching the bottom part of the seatbelt. We're gonna let it hang. All right, here we are to reinstall the rear center seatbelt. All you need to do is get that inside that little divot right there. And then we put our nut back on. We're using a long 18 millimeter socket to drop that down. I'm gonna pull instead of push towards the window. There we go, nice and tight. Now again, let's test this out. Now that it's in position, in the proper position, it should work nicely. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's give it a quick tug. Yep, we're good. We're gonna reinstall the rear deck. We're gonna run this through here, get the trim through there. Okay, we gotta get all this up and over all that wiring. There we go. There we go. Now there's that center catch I showed you earlier. You gotta line that up with where it's catching. And we just pop those in and then we bring up that trim piece now with the trim piece you're going to want to make sure that slit is on the bottom of the trim piece and then the trim piece just slides in 
and pops into place. Which side this slides in, which side pops. Okay. There we go. All right. All right, so we're bringing back the upper trim that goes around the window. Looks like my GoPro has decided to slip down a little bit. There we go. Uh, just remember, this area here is where the clamps for the, um, I guess the airbag straps go. So these are the pieces that kind of break, this is the piece that breaks away and this is the area that stays affixed with those straps. There are a bunch of clips here. You're gonna wanna make sure that you push down on each one of these clips to make sure they are firmly seated. Wow, video okay. is so much better with the light on. Look at all that dust there. Ew. All right, so these pieces here, as you can see, they're kind of uh, slotted here. Just slide them in here. Listen to that thunder. Nice. Okay, so let me try and get this up into position. There we go. And we're going to put it around here and slide it right in place. As you can see, I'm pushing it down. And it, at one point, it's going to lock in. There's that locking sound. Got to do the back one as well. Can you focus there? That guy all the way back there. Should have probably done that one first, uh, but I can't get the camera in there. But you basically see it, it just clamps around that piece there and it straps in place. And then this little nipple here, right there, goes into that little hole right there. All right, so we lost a lot of light because of the storm. So here's where we're at so far, so you can see. We've added, uh, we popped those two clips back in, we slid the two straps back on. What we're doing now is we're gonna pass the seatbelt through while this is still loose. I gotta get in the way of the camera, but it's the best I can do for now. Should be easy to do if you weren't trying to, you know, stay out of the light of the camera. We're gonna still, we're gonna leave this off just for now. All right, so remember, we've got a screw hole here, we've got a screw hole here, and we've got all these clips around it. And I'll start lining up the clips from the back forward. Also keep in mind, there's a little ledge here that goes under the headliner. So you want to put that up, and then these clips will just fall in place, and you'll bang them in. So we got a clip in this back corner here. We got clips throughout here, but you want to make sure this back corner one, this is the one that holds all this stuff in place. Okay, all these are back in place. Okay. There we go. That storm. Okay, that's nice and tight. Do that second seven millimeter bolt up top here. The hole is visible. There we go. And that last Phillips head screw holding everything nice and tight. Now remember, we have two sets of wires here. We have that first purple, uh, well, it's got that little purple clip underneath it. That goes into this module right here. Not exactly sure what that is. Maybe it's a key sensor or something because the trunk started to keep popping open. Maybe that's what that is. Who knows? Pop that in, don't forget to pop that purple lock in. This one here is for your tweeter, that sits right here. Just to finish this up, we gotta put the trim pieces on. We got the SRS airbag logo that goes up in this corner here. And that just kinda pops back in. And we have the little piece that goes right there. That pops right back in. All right, now this area is done. Now it's time to go get the lower trim. Listen this thunder. This rubber trim, has to be goes up and around this. So as you put it in, just make sure you pull the rubber trim out and around to make sure that it has a nice seal there. All right. Everything is all wet because it's 120% humidity in here. And then that's where the Phillips head screw goes down below there. We got the seven millimeter screw there and the seven millimeter screw there. And the rest are all pop clips. And there's nothing here. You know, let's do a close up here of plugging this back in. This piece here with the purple goes into here. And then you take the purple clip and you push it back in. Let's check the part number, figure out what that is. I wonder if that's like the key sensor or something. 
I don't know. All right, so this time around, we're gonna remember to plug in the tweeter because uh, I gotta go take that side apart again because I forgot to plug the tweeter in. Super simple. Let's get the seatbelt out of the way. Up and around it. Get the front seatbelt around it. And don't forget this time to pull the buckle through. I'm not saying you forgot, it's I forgot. Get everything in place. Go. This part's a little bit annoying. There we go, just to get it in the right position. Now again, make sure before you start banging away, you're gonna feel the clips just kind of fall into place. Okay, all the clips have fallen into place. Now we've got the seatbelt and the buckle out. Uh, we've got the seatbelt and the buckle forward. We forgot to plug in the tweeter again. I'm gonna do this one with a shaky cam for you. All right, we're behind the door panel or the back seat panel and we've got the little groove sticking out there. We'll plug that right into the tweeter, click it into place. Now remember to pull the buckle through, otherwise it gets all jammed up in there. All right, now we're ready. You'll feel all the clips just fall into place. Again, I taped, <laughs> it's hard to tape things when everything is wet. I taped all of the clip locations so I know where to, to bang. Oh, that one doesn't seem to be aligned correctly. There we go. Okay. to the lower section here. Get the bolt in place and crank it down. Oh, just make sure you don't twist your seatbelt in the process. There we go, much better. By the way, I do recommend not doing this on a rainy day because this has been challenging. No airflow through the car. It has been pretty crappy, but totally worth it because my son wants these seatbelts so bad. So this will make him a happy camper. It's another one down. Okay, let's get all this off. Get that screw down in the door trim here. Pop the door trim back into place. Okay, and last but not least, we're gonna bolt in the lower seatbelt. Actually, that's not the last piece. We got the seatbelt trim piece that we gotta deal with too, so. go and the seatbelt trim and we got that seatbelt functioning yeah one important piece I forgot was a little Christmas tree clip that goes right here make sure that's all lined up pop that in there we go now we're back together again Okay, so we're gonna now remove the bolts that I put on just to, you know, as placeholders. And we're gonna bring in the back seat, two pieces. We're gonna bring in the large piece first and then the small piece. And then bolt it down. Remember they join in the middle with a little pin. I tried a different view this time. And then we're gonna take the middle seat belt and just bring it up high. Get all that up top there. Get the center belt. All right, let's get this done. Okay, I'm bringing in the larger piece. Gently placing it down. I don't want to go too far because we want to get that center piece joined together right here. Move this out of the way so you can see that pin right there. All right, here's the smaller piece. Slide this together into that slot I showed you earlier. Once it's joined together, we're gonna get it up into these 
bolt holes. Okay, I'll thumb these down real quick. There we go. It's just a matter of wiggling it in place. Again, this is the 18 millimeter. For this one, you can use the long or the short. Right now, I've got the long, so let's just use that. There we go. And last but not least, this side right here. go now time to close this up there go okay so the seats look aligned the thing works the seats are solid they locked into place no problem so now the last part is putting together uh, this piece here and putting in the other belt, putting that nut on. Okay, let's get this back together. Good to go. Let's check the tightness of this guy. Good to go. Time to put in that last part, which is the lower seat. So I'm gonna put these seat belts up. I'll hold these up later when I go to slide it in. We slide it in, and just remember we pop it down into these little pieces of rubber. Those little pieces of rubber. There you go. Now, the seats slide back underneath the other seats. But first, you want to pull up these seatbelt pieces here. Get those up above where you're working. Same with the other one. it around there and then make sure we're in the rubber that one there we go back seats are back together seat belts are functional everything looks legit <laughs> Look at that. Very nice. I guess we'll have to take a picture tomorrow, but let's make sure they all work. That's nice. All right. Looking good. All right, so we're all done. Um, it took a couple hours but uh, it was well worth it. Most of the time was spent trying to dodge the rain. Now I have five matching seatbelts in my car and uh, we also fixed that rear deck rattle which required all of this stuff to come out in order for it to happen. So that was awesome. Sorry, I'm just dodging mosquitoes here. And um, yeah, now my son's gonna be super happy that he has matching seatbelts because he was kind of a little jealous that uh, he didn't have the red stripe. But uh, we're all set and uh, thank you Seatbelt Planet for sending me these. Uh, they look amazing. You know, if you guys are in the market for custom seatbelts, Seatbelt Planet has a little bit of everything, including things that match most of the Mopar colors. Um, so check it out. Check out my channel. Honestly, OCD has some. I can't even tell you how many people I know have them. So, you know, check out Instagram. Look up Seatbelt Planet. Stay away from mosquitoes. And uh, if this video helped you out in any way, please feel free to gently press that like button. If you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.